So today we're out here at the Holdenville State Fish Hatchery and we're doing our initial uh, cube build for our habitat project. So we came up with a way to fundraise some money to build what's called the Shelbyville Cube. This Shelbyville Cube is a modified Georgia Cube. It sits a little bit taller. Uh, we think it's going to last a little bit longer, uh, be a little bit better investment for us. And we received the funds to build 200 of these cubes. Now we have 10 fish offices across the state and so that gives each office about 20 cubes that they can put into a lake or reservoir in their area, uh, however that they best see fit to best benefit the anglers and the fishery. We had them build five cubes that the east cent or the central region will put out in one of their lakes so that every office can kind of see what these look like, kind of get a feel for how they're put together. We had them load up with their pipe, their PVC, their corners, all the pieces they need to do this back at their home office and send them on their way to you know build them back where uh, it'll be the best spot for them. So this was to uh, provide fish habitat in our reservoirs across the state. As these reservoirs age, the ha existing habitat, the trees, the stumps, they all break down and they don't provide the same benefit to the fish in the fishery uh, that they once did. So what we do to make up for that oftentimes is we drop cedars or other hardwood tree or some different hardwood trees into these reservoirs to provide a place for the fish to kind of more or less call home, a place for them to kind of be able to feed or find refuge from predation uh, the other benefit is that they concentrate these fi uh, the fish concentrate there, making them an easy target for anglers. The Shelbyville Cube is an artificial piece of habitat. So it's not uh, something that naturally occurs, but it's something we are interested in building for their longevity and the cost effectiveness of these cubes. So we're able to put these out and we expect them to last at least 10, if may not maybe 15 years uh, out in the reservoir compared to our brush piles that we have to go out and we have to refurbish those about every three to six, seven years. So these are for a much long, longer term investment. And we're trying these out, seeing how much we like them. You know, brush piles, cedar piles, there's something we're always going to do. But this is another tool in the toolbox that can better uh, benefit the anglers. It's not going to get snagged on people's hooks as easy. Um, and it's going to provide us some other benefits in terms of uh, vertical habitat as well. So we have sand in the bottom. That helps it keep it weighted down because when, we, when this thing drops into the water column, we wanna make sure that it sits upright at the bottom. So we have the bases weighted. It's weighted with that sand. We have some snow fencing on the bottom as well. That way, if you drop it onto a muck bottom, it's not gonna sink down as deep into the substrate on the bottom. It keeps it elevated, so it's actually providing that intended use for fish. Also with that, the bottom piece of corrugated tubing has bricks in it. That's an additional uh, weight down there. That way the bottom, again, is really weighted down. It goes down like it's supposed to. And when the wave action comes across these things, they're gonna stay up. The corners in the bottom and the top are also vented. We've drilled holes into those. That lets the water come in, fill that structure quickly, lets them sink quickly with the air escaping off the top. We have caps in the bottom where those sand, the sand is. So we have little red caps, and that helps keep the sand where it is, where it's supposed to be, as opposed to leaking out those holes in those elbows while that water's rushing in. Then the, towards the top, we have all that black corrugated pipe, and that just provides kind of a, a branching feature. So fish can kind of hide underneath it, uh, suspend above it, and it provides a, a really good piece of habitat that's gonna benefit us for years to come. We're not worried about putting an artificial structure out in the, a water body here in Oklahoma. Many of our water bodies here in Oklahoma are artificial themselves. Uh, we've chosen materials that are, are durable and long lasting so that we don't have problems uh, with littering or adding extra things to the lake. Uh, one of the other benefits of these Shelbyville cubes is their uh, fisheries benefit. The habitat they provide is much longer lasting than like a spider block. They've done these uh, across the nation for a long time. You know, we're kind of almost late to the party in that regard, but it's given a chance for the, uh, us to evaluate how they've done in other areas and make sure that you know, what we add is actually of immense benefit and not just something we're throwing in the lake and is you know, washing up on shore two years later. Today we went through uh, 10,000 feet of PVC pipe, uh, 21,000 feet of four inch corrugated pipe, 1,600 uh, PVC corners, 1,600 uh, pipe stops, 
as well as 1600 bricks and several tons of sand to get these things spread uh, built and spread out across the state. So these cubes uh, have a little bit more cost investment than maybe just doing a brush pile. Uh, each one we estimated it cost about $200 to build. Now over the life of this, uh, that's gonna be about 10 to $15 a year to and, and cost for as long as these are gonna last. So what we did is we came up with a way for the anglers to help fund these so that we can provide better fishing for them. So we asked for donations on the Go Outdoors app. People donated five, 10, $15 uh, to help make these cubes a possibility. So for every dollar an angler donates, we end up with uh, $4 due to our match with our license dollars and, and things like that, the way that our uh, department is funded. So it really helps us out. Um, basically a donation of $50 will uh, purchase at least one cube and, and put one cube in, in the local lake. And people can continue to donate uh, this year and, and throughout the year, and we'll start getting these rolled out, and, and you should see them in water bodies near you pretty soon.